All right, what's up? This is John Hill. Thank you for submitting your questions for me for Nigel's channel. Uh, I'm gonna go through the Instagram ones first and then I'll go through the YouTube ones and I'm just gonna kinda go through them and answer them quickly. So I'm gonna be rifling off and then if it catches my interest, I will stick on it for a while and uh, see what we can do. Okay, Galler Dorian asked two questions. He says, what's your favorite flip trick? Which is fakie flips, simple as that. Uh, and he also says, what age did you start skating at? 10 years old because of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Which is funny because the next question is by T Prim says, what made you start skateboarding? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the video game. <laughs> seemed awesome. <laughs> and uh, and it, was, it was definitely counterculture from where I was from. And it seemed like this whole new rebellious world that seemed super exciting and interesting. So I jumped in on it. Okay, so th <laughs> this is what I feel like is gonna make you laugh. So <laughs> this one's by Mary underscore Jew underscore Anna. So Mary Juana says, <laughs> do people ever think you're gay? Actually, yeah, all the time. On my channel, on anyone's channel. It's because I joke a lot like that and I'm slightly feminine. And uh, yeah, people think I'm gay all the time, but no, I like I like the women. They're cool. <laughs> and then his, he says, no offense, none taken. All right, this question is from Stoked Camran0123. I'm terrible at reading your names, I am sorry. He says, what was your dream sponsor? So I'm gonna assume he means is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so much flack for this, but pretty much sponsors outside of skating, which sucks. But like Starbucks, imagine if they sponsored you. Target, imagine if they sponsored you. Your life would be awesome. Or like Apple, just hook you up with all their new product all the time. Like that, but if I had to stick with skateboarding, um, I don't even know. I don't know anymore. I, I like I like the Revive dudes, I like friends. The companies that my friends have are, are the companies that I support more and that I'm, I'd be more excited to skate for, to be honest. Cause then you're just hanging out with the homies. Exactly, all the time, so. Yeah. It's the way it should be. I feel that. Bam! This question is from Angel84 Plan B. He says, what is your favorite skate park? I don't know. Probably the Shred Quarters. It's not even really a public skate park, it's a private one that Andy Schrock owns, but it is so much fun. Nobody's ever there. You can go any hour of the day. Well, I guess we can, but that is my <laughs> favorite skate park. And then other than that, like public skate park, probably Cherry Park in Long Beach, California. Everyone's awesome who goes there, so it's fine. It's from Trevor Fahey 246 He says, hey buddy, I have a somewhat strange question for you. How do you stay so positive and energized? I mean, for some, some people it comes naturally and that might be your case, but how do you stay so positive and happy? You have all this energy. Hope you have a great Mother's Day. Uh, yes, being a mother, I definitely appreciated Mother's Day. Um, for me, it takes a lot of effort to stay energy, energized and positive, and I think it does for most people who are that way. You just have to really, really focus on the good in life and you have to work at being energetic and positive. So in the morning, what I do is I start off with really simple tasks and if I accomplish those, it's like small wins throughout the day. And then eventually towards the end of the day, I can accomplish something big because I'm like in the routine and I'm feeling it. And that's what makes me feel good. Progressing, knowing that I'm like working for something better makes me more energized and positive. So you just can't fall under the, I think everyone is teetering and they can fall either way. Like. If they don't stay on top, they'll fall and be like, oh, like, and they'll start going down. And you just have to make sure you stay on top and stay focused. That's so true, dude. Yeah. 100%. So I'm the same way. Like if I wake up and I get a bad phone call or a bad email, it's so hard for me to bounce, bounce out from exactly. that, you know? I feel like starting off with the win is the way to go. It is for sure. So this question is from Brayden Kelly Bross. That's probably completely wrong. It says, why don't you send a tape into a big company such as Plan B, Almost, or something like that? Uh, because I don't know them. I think in skating, it's actually really important to know the people that you're gonna be working with. And you'll notice that a lot of companies will hook up the people that they're out skating with every day. Cause it's easier to work with people that you know and to like give them boards and to have them do things for you. And you know, actually work like a business. It's easier to have people right there in front of you all the time. So I don't know any of those dudes. 954 CJL asks, who is your favorite person to play skate against? Jordan Hunter. He is the best. Cause I have a lot of trouble doing like the pressure flips or any kind of like new agey weird variation tricks. I don't even know how to explain them. Just pressure flips and late flips. So I like to play people who can do the tricks that I do, but really well. And tricks that I respect more like those, to be honest. So uh, Jordan Hunter, he's the man. Where's he from? He's from Ohio as well. He rides for Force Wheels, so. This question is by Jared Skate S underscore seven. He says, what was the fall you have in skateboarding? I, I'm assuming he means what's like the gnarliest fall I've had in skating. And uh, that one would, <laughs> I just laughed. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the best. 
<laughs> you must have left out a word or two, but it's okay. Um, one time I was skating this out ledge and I actually sat on the ledge mid 50 50 on accident, backflipped and landed upside down on my head like this and straight up lost my short term memory for the entire night. The whole night I didn't like, I don't remember the whole entire night, but basically I forgot who I was dating. I forgot like, it was, dude, I texted my girlfriend so many times. It was just like, hey, uh, I'll call you in a second. And she was like, she basically mentioned that we were dating and I was like, are you trying to trick me into dating you? <laughs> It was to it was horrible, horrible. But oh, man. by the end of the night, I uh, regained memory and everything was fine. But I was pretty much like 10 second Tom off 50 first dates. If you watch that movie, he's a dude who just continuously forgets. I love that fucking movie. So good. It so is, good. dude. Damn, right. thank God you're okay. That was a pretty funny story. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, Jeremy Dot 510 asked, did your parents ever support your skateboard in while you were growing up? They did support it, but they kind of just didn't care. Like, I, I I liked focusing on what I liked and they liked their thing and eventually they'd be like, oh, how's, how's everything with you? I'm like, skateboarding's really fun. And they would just be like, that's cool. They just couldn't, they didn't really care either way, but it, they definitely support it and they didn't not support it. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Yeah, they, they were down. You're one of the lucky ones. Yeah, some people, some parents really don't like their kids skateboarding. Is that what's for you? No, I was lucky too. Your parents? We, we were lucky, thank God. This one's by, Leo S N D K. He says, if you never discovered skating, where would you be in life right now? I would be in crack alley on drugs dead. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I would be, you know, honestly, I think everything would be fine. I, I think I would have the same mentality I have about anything else in life. And I could, I could find happiness and I guess success in other things. Uh, so I feel like I would be in a very similar position to be honest. I would just be into different things, maybe a little more bored. <laughs> Okay, this question is from Lucas Pistotnik. He says, are you working on some footage? I'm assuming like a video part. I am trying to film a street video part right now, but it is difficult on top of how much I film for the daily vlogs that I do every day and then film with friends, etc. So I'm working on it, but that is a much slower process than anything else I'm working on. Um, O1 Erie asks, what camera do you use? I use a Canon G7X and a Canon T5i. Uh, Warren, I got two more, I could do real quick. Cool, go for it. Warren Aguarin says, how long did it take you to do your first kickflip? It took me a year, because I didn't really know how to do it for the first six months, and then I watched a video, and it took me six months after that, because I suck. Um, and this one is by Dawson CSB. John, have you ever smoked or done drugs? <laughs> uh, I don't know how allowed I am to say this, but I have smoked weed. That has happened before. I've done it like two or three times in my entire life. I don't do it. It's not a consistent thing whatsoever. Um, but yeah, it's happened. This is a whole firing squad round right here. X Aiden says, how old are you? 25. Cisco Disco says, how long have you been rollerblading? All my life. <laughs> Dawson C. SV says, what's your middle name? It's Daniel, not Danielle. <laughs> Either or, whatever. Uh, Julian X SV says, what are your plans after Cincinnati? I think California. I think it's gonna be California. Cal I, I, don't, I miss this place. I've been here for two days or three days and it's just so beautiful all the time. There are so many people to work with. I mean, there's Nigel, he's kind of tight, whatever, but- uh, Thanks, dude. Yeah, dog. <laughs> so yeah, there's a bunch of cool people to work with. And in Ohio, it's kind of the same way. There's so many amazing people, but the weather is so bad. It's hard for me to deal with a small town because there's one group of dudes who kill it every day, but the city itself doesn't really kill it. Oh, and Trevor Skates, last question says, burritos or pizza? Last question for this firing round. Um, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really think, I was like, which one do I like more? This one is by Jacob Skate. He says, worst thing about skating. I think the worst thing about skateboarding is the amount of hate in skateboarding, especially on things that are completely irrelevant to anyone else. Like the way someone holds a board can possibly be hated on, which is insane to me. Um, and then just like whatever someone is into when it comes to fashion, etc., that gets hated on all the time. And skateboarding is as varied as human beings. Like in high school, you walk into high school and see all these different people. Skateboarding is the same way. You go to the skate park, there's every genre of skateboarder. So you should be accepting to every single one and not be a little hater punk. All right, I'm gonna do four more questions for the Instagram comments. And the first one out of the four is by Brock Zorowski. Says, have you ever been to Woodward? Yes, one time with my boy, Nigel Alexander. It was the first shout out I ever got on my channel and uh, I had like zero subscribers and Nigel, zero. I'm not a player. 
We're going again this summer, dude. Let's yes, go. please. So much fun. It is the best. You're pretty much stuck in a location for three days, and all you can do is skate because it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, and the next one is X Josh RX says, "What's been your favorite holiday trip so far?" I'm gonna say this trip to California the last three days because uh, I tried to. The more control I have of a trip, the more fun I have in it. So this trip is like me just by myself and then hanging out with friends and then being excluded again, working on what I need to. And that is what I really, really enjoy is being able to like separate and then, hey, what's up everyone, hang out and then separate again. And, and that's my shebang. This question is from Ann Fernie. He says, he says, eight, you a skate god? I'm, I, I'm assuming he means, are you a skate god? Uh, no, that's actually Lance from Braille Channel, even though he did a hard flip recently, so now he's hard flip god. Hard flip God. Hard flip God. Lance, you hear us? He's in the sky. Teach listening. me hard flips. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> okay, so this one is from Jacob Mall. He says, where do you want to go in life? I actually don't plan more than six months ahead. And when I was younger, I used to think I had this like big game plan. Like I want to be this and this, and I will work towards that. Nowadays, I seriously only plan six months ahead. That is like, I, I have a big goal then. And if I can accomplish that, great. If I can't, I'll extend it a few more months. And that's, that's how I plan my life now. So I'm sure in five years, I'll maybe be doing something completely different than what I've ever expected, but whatever it is will make me as happy as I can possibly be in the moment. I like that. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I've never heard anyone say that before. You might be onto something new. I like the six month plan, man. That's, that's, that's pretty sick. Plan. Heard it here first, guys. These are the questions from the YouTube channel that Nigel owns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first question is by Eric Lopez. He says, what gets you up every day that gives you the motivate to do what you do every day and skating? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I know what you're asking. Uh, basically, skating is really easy for me to get up and do because I very much enjoy doing it. It's, it's like waking up and watching TV for a long time, how some people just slosh and do that. I'm the same way with skating. Like being on my board makes me feel comfortable and normal and like I'm doing something sort of productive and not thinking at the same time. It's like a form of meditation for me as well. So it's just, it's awesome all around. Okay, this question is from Jose Afonso Pimentel. I have not read a normal name this entire time. It says, ever thought on coming to Europe? Maybe Portugal. Uh, I haven't thought about Portugal specifically, but Europe, 100%. I've always wanted to go to London. Is that in Europe? Yes. Yes, London. I think so. I, I don't know why, because it's like the dreariest looking city ever. But for some reason, it looks very like artsy, sit at a cafe and enjoy the beautiful rain. I don't know, it just seems like a very pretty place. <laughs> Dude, these kind of days are my favorite days though. They're for nice. skateboarders? Yeah, yeah. they're the and best. In California though, it usually doesn't rain when it's cloudy too, so it's it's always cool. It rains like once a month in California. If that. Okay, this one is by Lassie Schmider. That's it. It says, if you could have one superhero friend, who would it be? And in parentheses, you put Iron Man, Spider-Man, or example, or for example, uh, it would be Iron Man. So you nailed it the first one, just because he is awesome in every possible way. Uh, he actually is my best friend in real life. Nobody knows he exists, but he's my best friend. <laughs> uh, all right, this question is from Caleb Shooping. He says, how would you pass time if you couldn't skate for a few months because of an injury? Uh, I would focus on my YouTube channel and I would still incorporate skating and I would probably, I don't know, I, I would come up with ways to make my channel interesting amongst healing and then being around skateboarder friends. And then I also do vlogs where I travel and hang out and I, I, I would do that as well. I also have a business that I'm running and I could work on that more and focus on that. I, I would never run out of things to do. So if I didn't have skating, I would still be overwhelmed with other things that I'm doing. So it's pretty easy for me to pass the time. <laughs> so this question is from Sander VB. He asks, should I consider moving to another city for skateboarding? I think it depends on how long you're willing to move. I think you can move to a different city for a short period of time and get a lot out of it. So you move to California and there's a million skateboarders, the entire industry of skateboarding that most people know and love uh, is out in California. But there are people like Brad Cromer who lives in Florida and has lived in Florida his whole life, but he'll take a six month vacation to California, get a lot done, skate with a lot of people, meet everyone, become friends with everyone, and that's what will really help your career. And then you can just be in your hometown producing content and doing what you love to do, and everyone in California will still be like, oh, he's killing it out there. So, it's kinda tight. That is. This one is by O-Town Taylor. It says, how well did you do in school? I am always wondering, because you seem very intellectually powered, 
I've never heard that expression, but that's awesome. But I still wonder about it. I did pretty well in school. Uh, during the, I graduated a year early because I had all my credentials. So that was kind of cool. And I took a summer course that was just my entire senior year. So I got to get out of school a year early. But the last year, junior year, I did very poorly because I 100% did not care about the stuff we were studying. And I was on a path to something completely different. I was planning my California trip for skateboarding, et cetera. So um, I think the best form of education I've ever had is hustling. Being in a moment in California when I moved here, didn't have any money and trying to survive and you have to use people and meet people and get along with people. I think the best thing you can know is how to read people. I think 100% you can succeed better than anyone with any form of education if you can read people really well. I agree. Yeah. Because it's people skills, it's communication. That's all it's about. It is. Those are the people who give you jobs. That's how you get people to buy your stuff. It's all how you communicate with that person and relate to them. Yeah, exactly. 100. Yeah. You are hella good at that, by the Thank way. Thank you, dog. So this question is from Ryan Balls, B-A-W-L-S. He says, John Hill, do you cuss? I actually do. Like when I get mad, I'll curse. And in normal conversation, I usually don't ask much, but on my channel, I don't because I don't want a kid watching and then his mom to be listening and hear cussing and be like, don't watch that because that almost happened to a kid who commented. And he said, thanks for not cussing. So I said, all right, I'll stick with it. So no, I don't cuss on film, but I do cuss. Okay, so this question is from Josh Krizewiki. And he asked, what is your favorite YouTube channel other than Nigel's or your own? Uh, I'm gonna say outside of skateboarding and it would have to be anything that Rhett and Link do. Uh, Casey Neistat's awesome, Ben Brown, anything Superwoman does. I really respect them as people and business people and they're really, really smart, great with talking and uh, I pretty much respect everything they do and they're outside of skateboarding. so. It's fun for me to venture outwards and kind of see what the rest of the world is doing. So this question is from Zero Hope 6767 I hope you have more hope than Zero. It says, if you can have any superpower that would be, that would it be, what and why? Okay, I know what you're asking. By the way, great videos, bro. You're inspiring smiley face. Thank you, smiley face. Back at you, bro. Uh, it would be telekinesis because there's a movie called Chronicle, and if you watch it and you're telekinetic and you get better and better at it, you can do anything. You're, you're pretty much the girl, what's that girl's name off uh, X-Men? Jean Grey. Yeah. Yeah, Jean, dude, I'm a comic book nerd. I know all this she, shit. Well, who's the new one in the new uh, Avengers? The Avengers? Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Look at you. Dude, I know everything. No. Did you I'm, know that Scarlet Witch in that movie is Ashley Olsen American? Yeah, that's weird. Dude. Right? Anyways, yeah, but basically they're She's like hot, the most though, powerful. Man. She's so hot. Yeah. They're like the most powerful people ever. They are. And they can do anything. So. Dude, by the way, Chronicles is awesome. Dude. I wish they'd make a sequel, but no. they probably won't. They probably won't. Yeah. It's so good, huh? It's so fucking good. This question is from DJRD Crew. DJRD. So shout out to DJRD Crew. Uh, what happened to your baby clothing company? It still exists. My friend Josh Love lives in Long Beach and he runs it out of his house. He does the entire operation by himself and apparently it's very easy work for him, so he's super happy and I get my cut for creating the business. So I, that's like my source of income in life. That's so tight, you hooked a skater up. I'm pretty Not tight. to mention Josh fucking rips too. He's so good at skateboarding Dude, and no one knows. He's so good. He's so good. It's from Miska Corpy. says, do you play video games? If so, what games? I actually don't. I don't play any video games ever but I totally back the concept of games because I know 100% that if you play for a little bit, it's super good for you because it's creating little wins throughout. You play a game and you win a bunch of times in that, it actually does motivate you to win in life. So people who can control their gaming habits are actually awesome at life. Like my brother, for example, but I don't play it myself because I get out of control with it. When I was younger, I would play games for so many hours that I'm just super anti-productive when I play games. So I'm avoiding them for now. This question is from Quality Vape Reviews. Well, here's my review for you, Quality Vapes. He says, what's your opinion on vaping or e-cigs? I think they're kind of dumb because they don't have a real, they don't actually alter your state of mind. So they don't have a real effect on how your body operates. They are 100% for show and for fitting in. And just like cigarettes, which are also very, very ter terrible for you, and I think more people are realizing it nowadays, which is still crazy to see people smoking nowadays. It doesn't actually alter your mind really. So the only benefit is to be socially accepted. When it actually comes to other drugs that are bad for you, I understand them more because they do alter your mindset. So the effects are real. But in cigarettes and e-cigs, there are no effects. So it's <laughs> kind of pointless. 
Uh, this question is from Julia Bailey. Says, when you were younger or now, what was your dream company to ride for? I've already answered the now. So when I was younger, it was Girl. Anything con contributed, attributed with a uh, Crail Tap, I was super into. So Girl, Lakai, Chocolate, they made the best videos, and all of their edits were super inspiring. And they were like the only ones putting out tutorial videos that were super good, super lengthy, and just very well edited. So it was that whole crew, the Crail Tap crew. Yeah, girls still my favorite company. Yeah, they're, I they're love crushing. Them, they they're definitely the best. they definitely changed their image. Um, their new riders don't really skate like the old riders did, but it's still it's still awesome. It's still like a crew of dudes who are going out and having fun and just killing it. Yeah. Should I just go for it? I don't know why I hit record. I just kind of blasted them, so I'm gonna turn it off now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna nail it. I'm on it. <laughs> This question is from Austin Brown. He says, if you had a billion dollars, if I had a billion dollars, um, he says, what would be the first five things you would buy? A car, a house, a woman. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. I honestly don't really know. I feel like I would just create, th okay, I'll just say the next three are just three businesses that I'd be creating and funding with that billion dollars and just make them start off as huge and awesome as possible and just kind of work really hard and see if they work out. Billion dollars. No women. I wouldn't buy women. <laughs> Except for my boy Nigel! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the question is from Noah Fayazza. Says, what's your secret to committing? You know, honestly, if you really love her, you'll just date her. That's how it goes. I'm just kidding, I know what you're asking. Uh, committing to stair sets. It's all about having tricks really solid before you try them down stuff. So if you're gonna jump down a five stair and you're like, I wanna tray flip that five stair and you just learned how to tray flip, do a curb, do a two stair, three stair, four stair, and get really good at those and then take it down the big five at the skate park. That is the way to do it. Yeah, totally agreed. Okay, so this question is from Jonah Perez and he has two questions, but I'm going with the first one. It says, are you happy how everything has turned out in your life? So far, yes, but truthfully, I don't think about it near as much as I should. I think everyone should take time to appreciate what they've done and what their life has given them so far, and I don't do that enough. But so far, yeah, I'm really stoked on how everything is, and I, all I see is the next plan and the next step, and I'm very excited to see what comes. And I think everyone should be always, because it's insane what everyone who can like talk and move and walk can accomplish. So I think being excited for the next step is uh, the most important thing ever. Attitude of gratitude. Booyah, you nailed it. No, you did. No, you did, dude. No, you did. Let's fight. Bro. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so thank you guys for watching and asking questions and also for peeping Nigel's channel because it is the channel I've been watching for the longest and I will always watch it. He is the man, so if you don't already, subscribe to his channel, like it, comment, do all that stuff, and I think my stuff will be in the description below if you wanna peep my channel as well. And Nigel, huge shout out to you, even though you're directly behind the camera and I could just look at your face. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. No I problem, John. It. That was a lot of fun. That was.